sometimes we have to do different things to get out of our head. In today's video, I'm going to celebrate having my voice over back, share with you my time out in the fields, and a new experience in the studio. I mentioned in last week's video the struggle bus I've been on. I seriously thought I was a woman and would be just fine with my daughter moving to college. I told my husband, the Lord prepares us for our children to go to college, but he doesn't prepare us for our dog to go, or at least he didn't prepare me. Yes, I miss my daughter tremendously, but like I said, I truly believe the Lord prepared me for her leaving. Does it make it easy? Does it make it better? Does it make it right? There's still the empty, the loneliness, and what have you. My struggle, in all honesty, has been missing my dog. I know it's easy to say go get another dog, and believe me, I thought about it. I looked at several. I've communicated with breeders. I've priced. I've looked at rescue dogs. I've done the whole nine yards except for pulling the trigger of getting another dog. I had to come to the realization my dog will be home on holidays and weekends. Maybe not all of them, but enough that I don't know that two dogs amongst a family in my household responsibility is what I'm willing to take on at this moment. I share this with you as I've just spent an entire week with my dog home for spring break. They leave in a couple hours. It's been good, but I know the hours after, the days after will be hard, but I'm adjusting. I'm getting better. In this week's video, I'm sharing with you ways that I got out and about to try to get out of my head during this season. I went to the bookstore and looked through magazines that in the past I enjoyed looking at, like the art journaling magazines, creating uh, studio magazines, all sorts of different art magazines that I found in my local bookstore. I enjoyed looking at them, so I saw this as a moment of time of doing something that in the past brought me happiness. Other days when my husband was with me, we would have, we would go to flea markets or antique mall and what have you, and I share with you today a couple little clips of sets of locks at a flea market, a camera, and a couple pictures that I saw uh, that reminded me of my childhood. All of this is inspiration to me. Not that I'm going to run back to the studio and draw locks or butterflies, but it still resonates with my soul and it brings me peace and happiness to therefore when I get in the studio, I'm able to create. I spent time outdoors on sunny days, dreary days. I looked back at old work, preparing for new work. I treated myself to coffee, a mocha frappe. Tried something new in the studio that I've never done before. An art supply that I found whenever I was decluttering my uh, art studio earlier this year, the oil pastels, first time. You'll see me here on packaging. I seriously have had those in my studio for years, well, probably over five years now, if I'm being honest. I watch sightings outside my studio window of the Postal Service getting stuck in the mud at the end of my road and a wrecker having to come tow him out hours later. 
I spotted birds on my property, and we even saw a deer one night. I don't know where you are on your journey, but I hope this week's video inspires you to get out of your own head, try something that you, you meant to try before and never made the time to do so, and try something that you have done in the past that you enjoyed. Until next week, remember, you are made to shine. You are worthy. You are loved. You are his to encourage artistic leadership in your everyday life.